back to Karen Creek. This is America. Since I'm kind of like the caretaker here at Karen Creek, down here in the bottom section, uh, you guys saw this area all, all go in, this little shelter. So we're maxed out right now, and we got uh, two more campers coming down this bottom section, so we've got to add two new plugs. Now this is kind of a temporary ordeal how I'm doing this, so don't watch this video and say this is how you do camper plugs. It's going to be safe, but it's not. Uh, so the goal down here long term is I need to put underground runs for my meter base here to where I think each campsite would be. Right now it's kind of a hot mess. There's no organization down here. Not a big deal for this weekend, but we do go get two more plugs out for people uh, that are coming in tonight, Friday night. Now the top section, we are not full, but we have, uh, right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six campers. We've got two more coming up top, which will put our total at, at 15 campers. But right now I gotta get this power hooked up. My electrician skills on a 110 are probably five. <laughs> As my good buddy that's an electrician says, don't touch that. Something about my shock you. Now the white one I'm not scared of. Well, actually, you just gotta be careful when you're in these boxes. This is not a tutorial. Do not attempt this at home. Especially don't watch me do it and then think, oh, that looked easy. All right, let's check our power now. Make sure we got 120 volts. Looks good. All right, let's check out, see what Grubby's done. Hi, Jojo. So we've got a dam. Is this a lake, Grubby? No, Karen Creek Beach, bud. Topless after three. Topless after three. Looks like the boys are getting firewood ready. This would be like the kid's paradise. There's a beer guy coming. <laughs> oh boy. So now if the kids fall, they get wet in the Ninja Warrior course. Saturday morning, god dang it's early. Crowd is up and ready to go. Let's check them out. <laughs> Who likes bacon? <laughs> Micah beat me up today. <laughs> Champion. What happened to the buggy? Uh, we broke it. Yeah, we broke the buggy. So every group's got that one heathen. This is America, dude. This ain't heathen. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday morning, we got all kinds of good stuff on the list today. This was not on my list, but it made his list down here in Grubbyville. He's the cat that made the beach. He's all about America. Guess what we're getting ready to do? <laughs> We've got a bucket truck, American flag. Watch them go. I give it a 10. Go meet a bigger flag, Wally. Get a roster around it. Put that one. We just ate breakfast. It's not even lunchtime yet. That's much going on. We hear a chainsaw going, so now we're going to go check it out. So, yesterday, while I was at the local pilot gas station, I ran this guy driving this truck here, got to talking, chit chat, you know. I tell him about the party, about the 4th of July, about America here at Cairn Creek. So he comes on out, check it out. He's staying in his tractor here for July 4th weekend. Chris, I think. Actually, that's who's on the chainsaw. I think he's down here improving his campsite. Actually, it was on the list to cut firewood, so I believe that's what old Chris is doing. He's got the Husky Barna. Full tilt Husky Barna action. Here we got two of the six horses we have on site for this weekend. The horses are going to play an important part in the Cairn Creek Fireworks Show. I've heard this a thousand times. This cat says, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Yes, sir. Speak English. What a water truck. Oh, a water truck. He wants to get in a water truck. The horse barn's a mess. Trash, dirty floor. I'm on one. Stop. <laughs> Alright, we're back to the bucket truck situation. We've got our ace in a hole. He's part of the mafia here in town. I doubt we'll get an interview with him, we'll try, but 
That's what this guy does best, Grubby. He delegates, yells at people, talks on the phone. Let's go! Be pretty gnarly after this one. All right, so I think in recovery mission we tried to skid her last night. We couldn't get up here to get it. So we're gonna get the blade up front. I'm gonna try to strap it on, and I'm gonna raise it up and back out. We're way we're way up in here. Nice poplar tree though. Ladies and gentlemen, this is officially the day. The day. Not a day. Not any day. It's the day. This is July 4th, 2021. We're going to celebrate America's birthday today. Let's check out what we got going on. There's my sister in law. <laughs> they love it when I get the camera on them. All right, so back to the fireworks show. So these are the boxes we made. Obviously plywood, we got some random boards up here, but these are the tubes that we put the mortars in. Drop them down, we'll fuse them together. You'll see that here in a little bit. This will all be loaded, uh, so this will be part of the show. So we'll have these all loaded, and we got a whole other pile of stuff that'll be, we call it the cakes, that are pre-built and pre-fused. Here is our inventory. That's all America right there. That's a whole bunch of boom, boom, boom. So we're gonna crank up some music, get this party started by opening these boxes, getting this trailer loaded, because it's Karen Creek, man. Come on, come on. All right, check it out. So we're loading fireworks now. We're getting everything out. We're getting organized. Let freedom ring, So what we're doing is we got a playlist. So we're I'm trying to beat it in these guys' brains the playlist so that things are coordinated as we light all these off. Now that's it's tricky. This is a really tricky situation by getting these guys, getting everybody in tune and sync with the, the people that's acting with the horses and the boats. That's the tricky part. But we can pull it off. We can really pull it off. The mess we make. <laughs> Never want to stop smoking, then the mill stop. <laughs> There's enough reasons in here to make a guy quit smoking. Part of the festivities includes the horses and some boat action. So we're going to have a boat on the water. The problem was these heathen boys have been dragging this boat around the hay fields. And we've got holes. Papa Rick's on the hole detail. <laughs> All right, so this will be like part of the grand finale. We'll tape all these together, and one fuse will like, you know, you like one fuse and it'll travel down, snake back and forth to do like the grand finale. So we'll do, uh, we'll probably do four boxes for the grand finale, probably two for the opening act. Then we'll have singles. Is this America? This is America. Hey, there's that guy I ran to at the truck stop and invited him out. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Down there. 
Maybe I need to go a little longer. Man, this has turned out to be a freaking job. So I showed you guys the flag earlier that we put up down at Grubbyville. Well, we didn't like the size of it. So now we're going to take the little one down. We've got a bigger one to put up. It's time to kind of stage it in order and hope for the best. So much chaos. So much chaos. What's more American than fireworks, hey, get beer, going again. and ice cream? Cruz, say America. had our 6,000th meeting set up the cakes so this will be cakes the purpose here is it'll reflect off the pond makes for a beautiful show and of course the big wagons are back there hold out here's gonna go get something to eat because I'm starving have an eight today heating's going too fast without a helmet there's the back side of the pond we already got people in the seats up there in position so right now we're testing we've never the really thought about what it means. Let me tell you a story. Francis Scott Key was a lawyer in Baltimore. This is our playlist. The colonies were engaged in vicious conflict with the mother country, Britain. T minus three minutes. We're about ready. Sorry, I'm not going to have a very steady hand, but just bear with me. If we look to the answer as to why for so many years we achieved so much, prospered as no other people on earth, it was because here in this land, we unleashed the energy and individual genius of man to a greater extent. All right, you ready, Cruz?
the morning after the Independence Day hangover. We've got a mess. But that's worth it. That's part of the show. These were all our cakes we're at. Lined up around this levee. And guys, I wish I could have got some more footage of the show, but it's pretty busy. So everybody's just cleaning up. We got people up at the mill shop. They're cooking breakfast, cleaning up. Looks like the uh, truck driver is getting the, the water truck moved out of the way. We had that down here for, well, for obvious reasons. This was our grand finale wagon. Uh, we had, I think, six cakes along with these mortars for the grand finale. It was big. And then this was our typical show. Whether it be right or wrong, we tried to plan everything. So like right here, this was the opening act. So we had an order. We alternated back and forth, me and Micah, as we went through the show. We had cues to know when to light which and what. The only malfunction we really had is I think I let, I think I let this one off and some sparks went over and started lighting that one off. That was kind of an epic fail, but all in all, not too bad. Thanks for watching with us. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Over now. Yeah.